So this is the Reworks capsule. This is a little video that I've been wanting to do. It's just showing the creative process from start to finish. The idea is that I've always wanted to print my designs onto uh, t-shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies. I'm always finding the quality of new stock really thin and cheap. So I decided why not I put my designs onto secondhand, high quality hoodies, t-shirts, sweatshirts. So the idea is that you're getting my designs printed onto other brands that you guys like. But this is the process video for the Reworks Capsule 2020. Deep in the feeling that I am changing Gotta keep all the clean things right by the daisies World is amazing, but is it dull? Hit it with a freaky flow I'm a freaky guy with a couple O's Couple Z's, couple D's Relax my mouth All trying to get into a different place with a different Now that we got all the clothes, we're gonna make a screen printing press Bullshit wasting your minutes You value your phone more than your digits You can't go home cause you're just not with it Just not with it Even if they cap man I go right by it I'm living my life, man, I'm living it right, bitch. I'm alright, I'm just fine, how about you? Still a fan and I'm ashamed of what I do. I'm alright, I'm just fine, how about you? Still a fan and I'm ashamed got this acetate in the mail, A3, A4. Printing them out, just on a normal inkjet printer. I can't even talk right, seasons seem to change, I can't see from far side. I'm now gonna put emulsion on my screen. Before I do that, I need to wash it to get rid of all the, all the oils that you can't see that are on the mesh that have happened because people have touched it, basically. I want to quickly dry this, so I'm just going to use a uh, Millie's blow dryer. Now my screen is clean, I'm going to put the emulsion on. So this is light sensitive, so I've got to do this in a, in a dark room. I got this on eBay for £12.99. And then I got this for 25 quid, I think. What are you offering? Are you satisfied? And you bothered him? Quick lunch with Millie whilst we're waiting for the screens to dry. So to expose all my designs onto the screens, I'm using two sticks. I'm using a suitcase, a sponge with a black t-shirt around it to cover a sheet of glass that will fit onto my screens. And also a 70 watt lamp. I think it's 70 watt, it might be 50 watt, I don't know. taken the screen that I've coated in emulsion and I'm putting my design back to front on top. Then I'm going to take this piece of glass, put it on top, 
to really flatten it down. So you've got the light exposing onto the emulsion. The rest of the emulsion will be really hard and then where the graphics printed, it will be really soft. So I'll be able to wash it out with a bit of water. Just finished with my last screen for today. Um, I'm gonna show you how well it's come out. A lot of trial and error, but you can see it's come out. The finer details get a little bit warped, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be fine when it's dry. I just brought these in from inside. I've got a fan going there and they're all drying. This is probably the most dangerous setup. A fan, a lamp. All of this just to speed it up. All right, now that we've sorted the exposure times, we can now start screen printing. Screen printing with the water-based inks. I've been having loads of issues with it. Long story short, I basically found a guy on eBay called Nathan, who's from Kent, who's just sorted me out with a load of cheap Plastisol inks, which are the ones you have to heat up when curing. I've been texting him for a few days now and he's given me tips on what to do. Understands the situation I'm in, so he's helping me out as best as he can. So I'm now using Plastisol inks instead of water-based. white ink onto this Nike tee. The graphic's already fading, so I think it's gonna look nice to go over the top of it. These Plastisol ink, to cure the ink to the t-shirt, you've gotta heat it up to 160 degrees. And normally you would use a flash dryer, which is, is pretty expensive. They're normally around 300 quid, and I don't, I don't have that kind of money. So I've got to think of a way to heat up my inks on the t-shirt to 160 degrees. Sweatshirts, t-shirts. Here's what I've made earlier. Freshly baked, add some salt, and a bit of pepper. This is the final product, all cured, all clean. It's looking beautiful. Same again. Stick that in the oven, bam. I've got about six done so far. One of them I'm putting through the washing machine. I'm gonna see how many times I can wash it. Just to check the print's all good. Right now I'm currently working in this shed, uh, newly built by my dad. Inside is a bit of a mess. I'm gonna be working in here whilst the weather's crap. This is the setup I've got. When I print them, I have to put them in the oven. So I've got three baking trays here and I've cleaned them thoroughly so they're not gonna smell like McDonald's when you get them. But this is still wet. Fill all, of, all three of those, take them to the grill and then bring them back, put them up here with the final with the final products. Clothing over here, and then I keep all my screens at the top. The brands that we're printing on, Old Knight, Ralph Lauren, we've got some Carhartt, this is Old Fruit of the Loom, this is really thick. We've got Old Champion, Old Nike, Nike, Gildan, some Lacoste, 
What I love about what we're doing is that I get to sort of compare all the all the weights of the material. I think that's how we're going to base the price is, is the quality of the the garment. I mean, for example, this this is old champion, but this is I think this is probably the the heaviest sweatshirt I've got here, and it's probably that's probably going to be kept for me. Nike. I'd say the majority of this is Nike, followed closely by Vintage, Fruit of the Loom, and Champion, and Gildan. update. I haven't picked up the camera in a while, but I'm going to quickly update you with what's going on. I've been screen printing. Ed's come around. I didn't pick the camera up when I was with him, but we did a bit. He brought all his stuff down, which is down there. Um, I've also got new mailing bags. We've got paper sustainable bags, which we're going to be sending off all the, all the clothes in. Also bought this stamp, which we're going to use um, to put onto the packaging. Just a little details okay I didn't I'm gonna show you a few pieces now which I'm happy with and they're nearly finished I wouldn't say they're quite finished this t-shirt I've had from the very beginning and I've kind of used it as a, a tester and I put every design that I made onto here so you've got a full collage and then you've got the back print as well dark grey printed on a Russell you've got the leg logo and then you've got the blocks on the back but more in the middle I think there's going to be a load of minimal pieces like this and then there's going to be a load of loud pieces like the one I've just shown you. Baby pink, salmon pink, Ralph Lauren sweatshirt. This is a size large and that's just really simple. I'm just keeping this one really simple, nothing on the back. Clean. It's the grey Nike top. Used a green design on this with the black swoosh and then we've got the print on the back. This is quite a nice piece. Accidentally got a little bit of ink on the collar so that's going to be super cheap. This is one of my favourite pieces and this is what Ed did when he came down. Large swoosh and we just printed our Blocks logo over the top of that. This is printed on an old Naughty's tag. So this is a Bradford City Football Club sweatshirt. Blocks Arc logo over this. Then we've got the small design in the corner. And then we've got a Shipham's tee which I've printed over in black. The Cost sweatshirt with the green. I'm going to do a back print but I haven't got there yet. This is like a grey fishing sweat sweatshirt. You can see the old logo that was on it. And then we've come over the top of it which I think looks really nice. I kind of like this overlaying sort of rework look because it, I think it's making a whole new piece in itself. finished I'm trying to find a way to sort of wrap up this video but it's now finished it's all gone live it's all gone so well everything sold within 10 minutes of uploading we uploaded a post five posts a day we were a little bit rushed at the end because I really wanted to I wanted to photograph the clothes in a really nice way and I wanted part of the rework capsule to be about the photographs but we actually had to photograph them on our iPhones um, in the end and upload them that same day. I've got a good mate Ethan who was shooting the clothes. I sent him a few pieces and he shot them in film which has come out really nicely. I'll pop them up here. Everything ranged from 10 to 50 pounds. I think the most expensive one was a Stussy piece that I printed on and that went to Oscar for 50 or 60 quid. Some of the prints came out a little bit rougher so they were sold, sold at a cheaper price. But I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's bought from the Rework Capsule. Also to people that have sent messages uh, to us, all the positive messages which have been really 
really lovely. I'm gonna actually start making a few more videos on things I do in the future, whether that's more creative stuff, more projects like this with vlogs, or traveling with Millie. Yeah, or, or, or even opening another shop, I don't know. It'd be cool if you guys could subscribe to this channel, because that's gonna encourage me to make more videos. It's been a bit of a rushed video, but I hope you liked everything. And if you didn't buy a piece, I've got a few left over, so just PM me if you want one. This is mine. I, there's no fun way of ending this video, so thank you all for watching and see you in the next video. I don't know when it will be. Could be six months, could be a week. Thanks for watching. Also, if you're not following the page already, go follow Top of the Blocks on Instagram.